Okay, this question says, a graph of position versus time for a certain particle moving along the x-axis is shown in the figure below. Uh, by the way, that's this figure. Shown in the figure below. Find the average velocity in the following time intervals. So it's going to give us some time intervals. The first one is between 0 and 2 seconds. And it wants us to find the average velocity in each of those time intervals. So the first one is 0 to 2. The second one is 0 to 4. I didn't quite get that. The, the third one is from 2 to 4. The uh, fourth one is from 4 to 7. And the last one is from 0 to 8. And so all of those different time intervals, it wants us to find the average velocity. And now the um, the average velocity, so average velocity is going to be equal to x final minus x initial divided by t final minus t initial. Now let me explain this really quick. Um, in most cases, your final time minus your initial time is just going to be simply your final time because we arbitrarily assign the initial time zero. What does zero mean on this graph of time? It doesn't mean anything um, it, because we arbitrarily say we're starting at this point. 11.53 p.m. could be zero because that's when we're going to start timing it. So t initial is usually zero. However, in, in this situation, it's not going to be. Um, also, x initial is, um, we try to make it zero as often as we can. In this situation, it's not going to be either. So it's saying my ending position minus my beginning position. I don't care where I was in between. I just care about those two places. And that's the difference between speed and velocity. Speed wants to know every single point in between. It wants to know the entire path length. Velocity just wants to know the fastest the shortest distance between the start and the finish. Okay, so let's get started. The first one says between 0 and 2 seconds. So from 0 seconds to 2 seconds, I ended right there. And so x final is 10 minus 0 over, and these are meters, over 2 minus 0 seconds, and it equals 5 meters per second. So that's the first answer, 5 meters per second. The next one says from 0 to 4. So from 0 seconds to 4 seconds, and I end right there. That's approximately 5. So my x final minus my x initial is going to be approximately 5 minus 0. My time final, 4 seconds minus 0 seconds. So 5 over 4, which is, is uh, 1.25 meters per second. and um, so and my, my fives are ugly, 1.25 meters per second. And now that's that answer, so then we move on to from 2 seconds to 4 seconds, and that, that means I'm going from here to here. Now here's where we get interesting, so my x final minus my x initial over my time final minus time initial and the way that works is my x final is 5, my x initial is 10. So I'm going to have a negative number here. My time final was 4, my time initial was 2, so I'm going to have negative 5 over 2. It's negative 2.5 meters per second. And so, um, in, in this case, the reason we say that velocity is a vector quantity is because it shows what direction. It's saying whether it's going up or down, left or right. So in this case we're saying that it's going down. It's a negative quantity instead of going up. And then we'll go to the next question. It says from 4 to 7 seconds. So from right here at 5 to right here at negative 5. So we have um, the final, x final, is negative 5, or m subtracting x initial, which is 5. We divide that by our time final, 7 seconds. Of course, this is meters, this is seconds, minus 4 seconds. And we end up with um, negative 10, negative 10 over 3, which is approximately 3, uh, negative 3.33, and that will repeat forever and ever. Uh, so that's the answer, negative 3.33. Then the last question says from 0 seconds 
to 8 seconds. Well, what's my x final? 8 falls on this x, this distance. And um, when I say x final, I'm not talking about the x axis in this case. Um, usually x represents the x axis. In this case, I'm talking of my y axis, which is in x meters. So x final minus x initial is 0 minus 0. I'm dividing that by 8 seconds minus 0 seconds. So meters, seconds. So I end up getting 0 over 8. We know that 0 divided by any number is always going to equal 0. So what's the rule on that? Any number divided by 0 is, is undefined, but 0 divided by any number is 0. And so we have 0 velocity.